i35equipment.com. This is the John Deere 620 GP motor road grader. We're gonna take a walk around it. Then he's gonna operate all the controls. Make a loop around our yard for you. Then we'll check out all the access panels and finally end up in the operator station. We do welcome you to come look it up for yourself. Bring your mechanic and operator or hire some open ones to the company if you like. We are open by appointment only though. So just give us a call if you on the counter. Happy to have you out. Come check it out. If you'd like a hauling quote, we do ship equipment all over the country. So getting it shipped to you should not be an issue at all. Especially being a legal load makes it a lot more convenient. If you'd like a hauling quote, just fill up for my website. Call, text, or email with that full delivery address. We'll share that address with several local haulers and a nationwide broker. Get back at the best rate that comes back to us. We do welcome you to arrange for your own hauling or come pick it up for yourself if you're so equipped. In my opinion, this is the nicest road grader we've ever had here. It does have the steering wheel, but it also has joystick steering. So the joystick controls for all the hydraulic functions, including that rear ripper. Center articulation, as well as tilting front steering tires and wheels. It does have the front push block on it. Tires are all excellent to like new. Just scared for going down on the rear. It does have three pin-on teeth or shanks. Full cab, cold working air conditioning. Working work lights, turn signals, headlights. And here the reverse arm, it also has a working horn on it. Windshield wiper, heated mirrors. Great machine to put to work. specs and measurements on the website. You can check those out. These are 17.5-25 tires. You can see they still have the whiskers on this one. The bolt on. Push block up here. So it has the whisker still on it.
Bye-bye. In case you, uh, I didn't point it out. station. Cold working air conditioning in here. And radio, I can hear it. It's on. Sure. Please, go ahead. Go. Just go ahead and see here. Interior light. It's going to be an auxiliary input, I believe, for your radio. Down. It says hydraulics enabled and then the joystick steering is enabled. Now we do have uh, the parking brakes still on at this time as well as you can see the bright lights indicators on. Brights, we're just going to flip those back to regular. I'm going to turn this air down because it's a little cold in here. Looks like you got a seat heater. Not cold enough for me to try that out today. Just going to go through all the buttons and switches here with you. Legend for all the buttons here. Rear view camera up here. Sun visor shade comes down. All right, currently sitting at 1878 hours. Def is good, fuel is good. You see, we're just a hair to the left and we're sitting. Get that straightened up here in a second. If I remember correctly, you just push this one to the right. Oh, no, that's steering. Well, this one looks like it's there. Articulation. Get that straightened up. Make our gauge happy right there in the middle. Oil temp looks good. RPMs. If you hear the beeping, there's other machines moving around out here today. So, let's just go back. All your HVAC controls are here. I'm going to turn it on. Maybe not as cold. You can see all the switches. We've got the horn, auxiliary, uh, rocker switch here. It's going to be blade, angle. It's going to be your rippers up and down, gearing up and down, max gearing up and down, uh, forward, neutral, reverse, and then also spinning the blade. A lot of blade control buttons on both sides here. Uh, if you were to turn, move this joystick left and right, it does move your front tires for steering left and right. Also, this is going to drop the blade on the left hand side or pick it back up. If you want to move your steering wheel further away, you can just step down on that. Put a little lever down there. Now, if you just despise the joystick steering, you are able to utilize the steering wheel up here. Turn signals are going to be behind it. But here is going to be more blade control uh, as well as your tire tilt and uh, other river control. So I'm not 100% positive, but I believe one is uh, the river control is for the rear and one is if you want to add a mid scare for to it. Okay, appreciate you taking time to watch. Hope this video was beneficial to you. And as always, you can see our full and update inventory of consignment heavy equipment machinery online at www.i35equipment.com. Hope you have a wonderful day and you found this video beneficial.